All right, welcome back, everyone. Yeah, we're here playing more Demonologist, which if you didn't catch the last episode or aren't aware of what this game is, it's essentially uh, very much like games similar to Phasmophobia, where it's a ghost or paranormal investigation game. Um, you know, all, all this one seems to have uh, a much better engine behind it and the Unreal Engine, and uh, it's just pretty crazy. Um, the, the last time we tried to play this, uh, I think we did two investigations. I was successful on one of them only because I had to make some educated guesses because finding evidence was um, rather tricky before the ghost started to absolutely destroy me. And the other one, I straight up just died uh, without finding a single piece of evidence. So um, it's it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a lot harder, um, at least in the initial stages of the game, than other games of its type. So uh, I'm excited to go ahead and jump right back in. Um, we don't have uh, another map that we can go ahead and uh, uh, play. Um, we have to... Go back to the abandoned house right here as you can see um if the hand will go away uh, we'll just do this um we'll unlock cyclone street at level three which we're currently still level one um and then there's a hospital that gets unlocked at level 10 and then you know some planned content later uh that uh will hopefully unlock uh in the future so we're gonna go back to the abandoned house I mean, we're a little bit more familiar with the layout of it now and all of the kind of Easter eggs that are involved with it. Um, I don't really have any money to purchase anything. Things are really expensive in this game. It seems, uh, you know, like just the crucifix is $2,000. Uh, sanity pills are 1500 And from one investigation on easy mode, which we can't play anything besides easy mode yet because we have to level up to do that, um, I got $600. So, you know, it's going to take a bit to really get a lot of these, these things. Um, and, uh, you know, you'll get more money for doing side objectives and doing the actual exorcism of the ghost, but we just don't have the, the tools necessary to really do that. So, uh, that all said, uh, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. It will greatly help grow the channel. It'll also keep you updated anytime I release any videos for this game or any of the other games that I wind up playing, which is kind of a, a, a lot. Um, so you'll get notified of that. And then, you know, like the videos if you liked them um, or, you know, leave comments below or feedback. Uh, I would love to hear from you. But uh, that all said, let's go ahead and just dive right on in. All right, here we are. So I'm thinking the the best thing to do is to bring in the EMF so we can try to find the uh, the room and the uh, we'll bring in the spirit box as well. Uh, you know, we have a couple things here that I'm not really sure what the ESG does. I haven't seen the evidence that comes from it. Uh, the spirit glass as well. I, I I've it says that you'll see ectoplasm on the walls. Um, I'm not sure how that's different from like the black light, which shows you fingerprints. Um, I'm sure there's a, a major difference and I just haven't seen anything through the, uh, the ecto glass yet. And then uh, we have a canvas here, which is kind of like a, a ghost book or ghost writing, except it's going to draw pictures, um, which is cool. So let's go ahead and uh, just jump in. Man, this place is still so creepy. I mean, you got wind the upside down bones the lighting is super good now the map design is, is pretty awesome here yeah all sorts of stuff all over all right this is our handy generator we cannot go up these stairs they don't seem to have a place to go yet right, so let's start off by just turning on as many lights as we can so that we don't tank our sanity too quickly if the game will allow us to uh, turn them on without blowing them up in our face. What? What? 
what is happening? Am I not just not seeing what's happening? That sounded like something profound was going on and I didn't see anything. Are you here? I don't want to go down there yet. Let's get our EMF out. All right, well, let's actually use the spirit box. Okay, that light works. There's no light in the basement, which is why I don't really want to go down there just yet. We got, we got activity here. Oh god, okay. I mean, the ghost, I, I guess the ghost does roam in this game. Um, but you're generally looking for activity. Are you here? Where are you? What's your name? Can you speak? Are you here? I think this is probably the room. But we'll we'll take a, a more of a look around just to see. Oh my god. Do you want to play ball with me? Love it. All right. Does this have a light that works now? This room always is messed up. Oh my god. Victoria. I'm not sure whether or not opening these things is important. I just feel like if there's going to be addition additional rooms to investigate, maybe some of the ghost stuff can happen in these rooms, so it's important to kind of unlock the stuff. What's that? Oh, this light works. Could open that or turn it on earlier. Magna. Magna. No, it didn't work that time. Okay. A bunch of crucifixes everywhere. Really creepy paintings. So it seems like, I mean, the only activity we've seen so far is in here. Yeah, three. Oh, I got freezing breath. Okay, I think this is probably the place to be. Are you here? Where are you? Two. Can you speak? What's your name? Okay, we'll go ahead and drop this as well. Grab some of the other items. We do know we have um, freezing. Freezing temps. It's our first piece of evidence. I hadn't actually even seen this little ritual going on here. What is this? Like just ground human with a skull? It's over there. Is that just bones? Oh, it's wood. Why is it still making creepy sounds out here? Uh, let's go ahead and put uh, freezing in here. 
still quite a lot of ghosts that it could be. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in the black light and I guess the easel maybe. What's our sanity at actually? 86. Okay. We don't have sanity pills again because they're just uh, insanely expensive. So we are not going to be obviously um, you know, able to to control our sanity or maintain it in any way possible. So that that's kind of why we wind up dying a lot. Um <laughs> Ah, so creepy. Okay. Just turn on the slate. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. I think it tried to, to touch this light. You're supposed to be able to see fingerprints on the... Um, the light switches as well, which... I haven't seen yet. Definitely freezing in here. Let's go ahead and pop that. Replace this. Yeah, that seems good. Can you draw on this canvas? Can you draw me a picture? getting any activity now or at least emf activity we know that it was out here for like a second we had four no five though okay I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this here I just, so it's more out of the way, kind of. There you are. Um, can you speak? Are you here? What's your name? It's definitely messing with these lights a lot. They can't do anything because, you know... Four. We've had a lot of opportunity to get five. What is happening? Three. Can you speak? Are you here? Where are you? What is your name? Can you talk? No, but you can make ominous sounds happen, can't you? Oh no. Okay, um... Oh my god. Alright. I need to go get the other items. I'm kind of inclined to say it's not fingerprints or EMF five, but uh, you know you never know for for certain. All right, let's grab the ESG and the ecto glass. We are at seventy eight percent sanity, so not not too bad. But not really great either, and it's not something that we're going to be able to uh, to prevent the sanity drain. So, but you know, fortunately, because we didn't can't afford any items, we don't we can't lose any items either. So, um, yeah. 
that at least makes these kind of, you know, less pressure to to stay alive, I suppose. As much as I would like to, you know, but it's at least I don't I lose a ton of stuff when I die. Let's see. How do we Oh, we got the easel. Oh, that's cool. That's what the one of the drawings looks like. Man, it's like they this ghost is quite the artist. Uh so let's go ahead and put that in. Uh easel canvas drawing. So we've kind of eliminated it down to these two. It's four. Uh, we'll put the ESG down. I'm not really too sure how this works. Other than it's supposed to kind of be like a dots, I guess. Looks cool. I don't know specifically what I'm looking for here. Or if it's even just in the room, or do I gotta go... Is that saying I will kill you last because you are my toy? I don't like that at all. Why are you singing to me? All oh, the crosses went upside down. It's getting real active over here. It's, I thought those were already upside down. I guess I can go elsewhere in the house and see. Is there. What does this stuff do? What does this say? Don't touch. What does that say? I can't. I can't read what that says. Oh, is there. There's like a hidden painting or something on this painting. There's like a guy with a sword. It's like it's been painted over or something. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. this does I haven't gone down in the basement yet for a lot of reasons but I think I have to check for ectoplasm here oh there's the deer head okay so the deer head last time dropped to the ground there's always this really creepy whispering down here breathing oh no oh my god what this place is so messed up That's the ESG. I'm seeing the ESG uh, light, uh, electric arc through the wall with the spirit. 
blast or ectoblast. Are you here? Can you speak? Can you talk? Where are you? What's your name? Oh, I'll close the door on me. Oh, maybe that, maybe we can take a look and see if there's fingerprints on the door. No. Okay. You know, I'm... Let's just try to reason this out a little bit. I'm gonna stick next to this light for a second. Try to save my sanity. I don't think that it's gonna be fingerprints. Which narrows it down to a Hantu, a demon, or a mare. I kinda don't think it's gonna be EMF5. Um, or spirit box. So I think this might be a demon. So I kind of want to go and read what the demon is all about in this game. I kind of want to do it in, in a safer place. I also probably think I should check my sanity just to see what it's at, how close I, I am to potentially dying. I keep expecting to see things out here in the distance, just the way that this place is laid out. But I haven't seen anything happen out here yet. So... I don't know that it's possible. It's just it always gives me a really creepy vibe. Um, alright. 42% sanity. Uh, yeah. So let's check... Let's check, uh... What the demon is all about. Demons are known as normally calm, collected ghosts. They have a lower prey drive than other types of ghosts. But if you manage to anger a demon, it will not stop until it kills you. Strengths. If it decides to kill someone, it will be very hard to stop it. Weakness. As long as you don't make him angry, the demon usually won't hurt you. Hunt you. Well, we have pretty low sanity. And we haven't been hunted. Yeah, I mean, ectoplasm stains, I don't know what I'm looking for there, but I don't think I saw any. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously leaning towards the demon, just because it didn't seem to give us any of those things. Uh, ESG, I don't know. Um, I haven't seen that, that evidence or ectoplasm stains yet, so I have no idea what those really look like. But um, I don't. I don't think we got any of those yet. So I'm gonna say it's a demon. I mean, I guess I could go in there and and try to to verify it. I'm not losing anything by uh, by doing that. Um, and maybe it'll be interesting. I just gotta make sure I don't anger it. Be crazy to see like something in like one of these windows or something staring at you. I feel like this game would do it. Oh, close this these doors. It's very active over here, it seems. And it, we're, we're kind of looking for stains. Like, where does it leave stains? Oh, this light is freaking out. Is it just on objects? Walls?
you give us a sign? I don't see anything. I think, you know, because I do eventually want to be able to level up and unlock some of the other things, get money for items, things like that. Why does it seem like the, the flashlight when I'm holding objects is much weaker than when I'm just holding the flashlight out? What the f- You corner creeping ass over there. That okay, so I was right. Things can happen outside. That's creepy. Okay, uh I guess we can just say it's a demon. Hope for the best. Um Demon. Confirm. You've selected demon. I sure have. Let's uh well what was my sanity at? Just to double check. 31%. Jeez. Okay. Let's uh let's go see if we were right. I'm, I'm curious. All right. Yeah, okay. So we were right. Again, it seems like it comes down to an educated guess, right? Like I haven't I haven't uh been able to get all the evidence. Um in order to have the ghost, you know, to be 100% certain, which is kind of annoying. Um, but I guess, you know, it doesn't, it, it makes it harder. I actually just noticed this when I walked into the bathroom, that there's something written here. Uh, Banshee? Okay, so even this place is haunted. Uh, I don't think that that was probably the model that they wanted to use for that. <laughs> Maybe it's a placeholder, but that's pretty cool. Does this do anything? Show me. Doesn't do anything. I've tried to pronounce this word several times and it doesn't seem to do anything. So I, I, don't, I don't know that it actually works. But uh, okay, that's cool. Um, let's go ahead and uh, and jump into another one I guess you know obviously the same but what level are we now let's go back um still level one so you get 20 experience per investigation like if you only do the base objective of Finding the right ghost. You get 20 experience on easy. So this is going to take a while to... to be able to do things. And it seems like you have to have a candle um, and a video cam to be able to do some of these side objectives. One of them is with the spirit glass. Um, I think that only activates after you... Uh, it identified the ghost the the uh the first time or you identify the ghost it'll unlock the side objectives for you to use stuff um to look around i guess we could have done that um i just didn't i just didn't want to die <laughs> so uh let's see photo cameras are 1400 candles are 600 um i i mean i guess i'll buy one of those can't really buy anything else that's okay though at least we'll have a candle so that we can try to do some of the side objectives and uh we'll just try to to jump back in 
here in a second. All right, here we are. We'll grab our flashlight here. I think that f using the the uh, EMF to start off with is is pretty good. Um, that did help us find the kind of the epicenter of activity, which was helpful in uh, you know finding uh, details or d uh, evidence. So we do have a candle now. Oh, I didn't I didn't add the candle to my inventory. Oh well, maybe it's for the best. We're probably gonna die anyway, so we'll do it next time. Are you here? What's your name? Where are you? Are you friendly? Where are you? What's your name? Magna? Magna. Are you here? Victoria. Are you here? Can you speak? Dream. Calm down. Let's see. S Simon? Simon? Simon. Anger. Are you here? Where are you? What's your name? Can you speak? Can you talk? Where are you? What are you? Oh! No EMF for that. That gets me every time. Wait, was that? Did I see freezing breath? Are you here? Where are you? Can you talk? What's your name? I hate this basement so much. Are you here? Can you speak? Where are you? What's your name? Are you here? Can you talk? Where are you? I heard a door. Is that downstairs? Whew. 
Yeah, it closed this door. Oh, is it basement? Oh! Oh, this game. Get out of here now! Oh, it's so mad. Oh, we don't want to put you there. Can I pick you back up, please? Oh no, are you trapped inside geometry? Oh no. I think I've lost my item. Are you here? Can you speak? Can you talk? Well, we have freezing breath. I don't know about... Oh, God. I don't know about EMF. Because now it's broken and stuck in the uh, other objects. So... Bring the other stuff. 61%. This thing is just absolutely attacking my sanity. Um, I guess we'll bring these. I have a feeling I'm gonna die. We know the room at least, and we know that it is uh freezing temps for sure. No spirit box yet. God, what are you? Is it going off? What is it? I can't tell. Is there a number I can see? I can't. Uh, four. Zero. Okay. Oh, don't keep lighting things and blowing them out. Stop it. I really want to be able to pick up my EMF. Two. Can you speak? What's your name? Can you talk? God, stop it. Where are you? Are you? Okay, so that's spirit box. Uh, uh oh, the chair. The chair is rocking. No fingerprints. Okay, we need to get out of here. This thing is uh, definitely very active right now. My sanity is probably garbage. So let's get out of this house. Oh no, it's hunting. Oh, fuck, where is it? No! Mm-mm. No, gotta loop it. Oh, Jesus, where is it? Let me out! It can't come out here, right? Hunt, hunt territory. Definitely. I'm what am I like? What thirty something? 
47% sanity. Okay. So we have a uh, spirit box response. I don't think it's fingerprints. It could be EMF5. I don't really know. The rest of it, I mean... I, I don't think we're getting... <laughs> we're not succeeding in this investigation. But... Uh, we can... We can try. <laughs> it's definitely going to kill us. Ectoplasm stains. Run! Please don't lock the doors. Please don't lock the doors. Please don't lock the doors. I close this. Okay. All right. I th that that had to be ectoplasm stains because it wasn't visible outside of uh, the the glass. So, ectoplasm stains, we have a myling, confirm. What is the myling in this game? Uh, myling, where are, oh my god, I'm so blind. There we are. All right, we still haven't figured out how the myling is related to fire, but it is known to have an affinity for it. I mean, the candles were definitely going uh, crazy. We have observed that it is calmer in environments with fire nearby. If there is no fire around it, it will be aggressive. Weakness. If there is a fire around it, it will put it out before hunting. Okay. So it's kind of like the Onryo for, for Phasmo, which... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go back to that in the future. Um, so let's take a look. Did I just throw the, the ectoplasm glass on the ground? <laughs> Oops. Uh, anyway. Let's take a look at this. You can complete these objectives and earn more reward, or you can get in your car and return to your safe house without completing the objectives. You can't do the exorcism... So we don't have a photo uh, camera. We don't have the candle with us, unfortunately. I, you know, didn't uh, bring it because I'm dumb. I, I, this is the first time I've ever actually bought an item, so I didn't remember that you had to actually add it to your inventory. Um, find the sitting human silhouette using the ectoplasm glass. I don't want to go back in there to find the ectoplasm glass that I threw on the ground like a coward. So uh, let's take our money and run, I guess. We'll come back here. And at least we kind of got enough to buy another candle in case we lose the one we, we did have. But uh, yeah, you know, let's go ahead and just try one more here um, and uh, give it a go. Uh, let's where where do I add? I have to add it here. Loadout. Candle. I have one. Okay, so you just click on this to add it to your loadout. Cool. And then that should add it there. Okay, perfect. So, let's go ahead and jump in. Yeah, here we are. All right, I, and I've been really bad about getting the name of the ghost. So Barry Hendricks is the name of the ghost, which is great. I, I don't know. I guess it's probably like Phasma where you can say the ghost name and, uh, you know, get it to respond or do ha have more activity. Um, I mean, I don't I guess the spirit box is kind of the best second best item to bring in. I don't really think that it matters beyond the EMF, but, uh, yeah. What are you? What You keep showing up. You got, like, glowing yellow eyes and a weird, like, 
sack body. What are you? All right. Is already open. That's not normal. Oh, it's broken. That's broken too. All right, we got some lights in this hallway. is open as well. Got a lot of candles around this room. I don't remember seeing these candles before. Were they always here? Magna. Magna. <laughs> Gets me every time. Ooh, we have the tarot cards. Uh... was that? It sounded like it was coming from this wall. Is that where the workshop is? It's like on the other side of this wall? Is this a jar of just blood? Show me. Show me. Man, does it never, does it not do anything? <laughs> Every time the light. It's definitely over in the workshop over here. Four? Four? Two? Three? Four? Okay. I think it's this room. So we did hear the, uh, the thing going off earlier too. Can you speak? Can you talk? going to eat my tongue. That's really creepy. Okay, let's go get some of the other stuff. So this is, that's our epicenter of activity. It seems. We got our first piece of evidence, so we know. Go ahead and put that in. What's our sanity at? 90%. Actually, that's not bad at all. That's the first time that we've come back and it wasn't just absolutely tanked. So let's uh put down the spirit box response. And let's grab some of our other items here. Um take that one. And we'll also go ahead and it, it was touching a lot of doors, I think, anyway. So I'm going to bring the black light and see if we can get fingerprints. Are you going to do the chair thing? Oh, 
Oh yeah, there we go. So there's a handprint on the light switch. That's what it looks like. That's awesome. Okay, so we have fingerprints. We've narrowed it down to three so far. Do we have any ectoplasm stains? Oh my god. It's just tossing everything all around this room. Three, two. Three, two. Would you even be able to see ectoplasm stains in this room? It seems like there's just so much crap on the walls that you wouldn't be able to really tell. It doesn't help that the windows are reflective. I don't know if the stains can show up on a window, but that would be really annoying. Okay, leave that there. We'll get the other items. Touching lights. Sanity's at seventy nine. This one doesn't seem to be hammering our sanity too bad. Should probably use his name, Barry Hendrix. Oh. God, every time. Barry Hendrix, are you here? Barry, can you draw on this easel? Can you draw me a picture? thinking it's not freezing actually what can't it be at this point right uh, it's not gonna be EMF 5 I don't think it's freezing can't be ectoplasm stain so I'm wasting my what was that was that the ESG is that the sound that the ESG makes I missed it you serious Barry, can you give us a sign? Barry Hendrix. Oh, he don't like that. Oh! What are the... 
What's happening? What's happening? Why is my vision all messed up? I think it's ESG. I think I missed it, which is really annoying. Give us a sign. A ghost event? Am I dying? Am I dead? I'm dead. There's a poltergeist. Uh, what is the poltergeist's uh stuff what is it what do they do poltergeists are known as a ghost that likes to play with their environment they can throw objects to lower your sanity yeah that was definitely doing that a lot they can throw many things at once and can quickly lower your sanity yeah i'm sure that's exactly what just happened uh weakness they will calm down when there is nothing left to throw okay uh it was esg oh man i was right i can't believe i lost my candle for that Man, did I get, I got 50% insurance on the candle, so hooray for that, I suppose. Let's buy another candle. Put it in the loadout. Let's try that again. Uh, I know I maybe, I still have not reached level two. Yeah, still level one. Um... Let's go ahead and select the abandoned house. I wish escape uh, exited menus. I keep screwing that up. But uh, all right, let's go ahead and give it another shot. All righty, here we are. So there's our candle. I, I guess I, I wasn't really paying attention last time. I didn't see it. But uh, it's there, so that's good. Uh, let's do this thing. Ayub Austin. Okay. Let's do it. You know, we're just getting our reps in. We're we're failing our way forward in this game. the Ouija board. I didn't get to play with the tarot cards last time, too. Oh, man. Is this open again? Is it the hallway? I already blew this light out. Really? speak I think it's this hallway yeah yeah I think it's this hallway 
This is where we are. Okay, EMF3. Are you here? Can you speak? What's your name? Ayub Austin. Ayub Austin. He's pissed. Four. Can you speak? Can you talk? What's your name? I will never know. Ah, sucker. You totally just did talk to me to tell me you wouldn't talk to me. Got him. All right. Let's go get our other stuff. So we got spirit box. Vince, spirit box response. Ninety-four percent. We're st still okay so far. Uh, it's touching doors. Let's get the black light in there. I'll put the ESG down as well. Hopefully, I don't actually miss the interaction this time because I would really like to see it so I know what it looks like. I think it's the hallway. <laughs> Little children ghost running around. Although it seems like it's wandering in between these two. Can ghosts roam a lot in this game? Touching doors. It was touching lights too. Let's go get the rest of the stuff. No freezing yet. Um, you gonna be over there again? Creepy, creepy little whisper ghost. Okay. Last pieces of evidence to bring in. going Now it's in this room, like, hardcore. Oh, freezing. Okay, so this is the room, again. Freezing. hear that? Ghost is just like hammering the light. Well, let's check for black light fingerprints. Is it this one? I think a no on fingerprints. I guess we can go ahead and say that it's freezing, which means it's not going to be ESG. So it could be any of these other ones.
on fingerprints again? I'm thinking no for fingerprints. Can you draw in this painting? Or can you paint me something? Can you draw me something? What is that? Oh, there we go. Ectoplasm stains. Okay. Awesome. We got it. That's our third piece of evidence. Alright, let's go. Uh, maybe this is the first time... Maybe this is the first time we're actually going to get... Uh, the candle and maybe even see somebody in a chair or something with the this spirit glass thing. Alright. Uh we know that it is ectoplasm stain, so it's a miling again. Okay. So now we should be able to do the side objectives, I think. Except for obviously the photo one. We can't do that. Um get a Ghost to blow out a candle. I think we put that in the room. Damn, our sanity is pretty pretty solid. I don't know where we're supposed to see an ectoplasm ghost sitting in a chair. Can it be here? No. I gotta blow it out. Oh. Myling was the one with fire, right? Yeah. It's gonna be calmer. Once we have the candle, but it will hunt. It'll blow it out before it hunts, which means it will kill us. Can you blow out this candle? Can you blow out this candle? Got it. All right. Oh, God. Is it going to attack me now? All right, we got to find a ghost sitting in a chair somewhere. Is it going to be in the creepy basement where I hate going? A thousand percent? Please stop breathing. Oh my god, what the fuck? Is it following me? Oh, it exploded on me. That's disgusting. Oh, it's like a... Nowhere is safe in this house. It's ridiculous. Oh, we didn't even go in these places. What the fuck is that? Victoria? I hate this. Alright, do the cockroach thing. Dream? No ghost ectoplasm seat person there. Nothing there. How? Ooh. Ah. Is it? It's not in here. Stop playing with the lights. Is it just not... Is it like a set thing that's in this house? Or... Is it a random chance to show up? I'm 
very confused as to where I'm supposed to find this person sitting in a chair. I've gone everywhere, right? What the fuck is that? Am I supposed to come over here and see something? Is this the ectoplasm? Is that what the sound is to notify me where the ectoplasm is? Where? Basement. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Is there something I'm supposed to do to like spawn this thing? I'm, I'm so confused as to. Where this thing is supposed to be. Can't go upstairs. I think I've been everywhere in this house so far. I don't want to die because I spent here all this time looking for ectoplasm ghost sitting. I guess we can do this. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anger. What is that sound? It almost sounds like it's trying to tell me where the person is sitting is. But it's... Is there a s secret area that I'm not aware of? Oh, trapped. Well, I mean, if it's not going to be something that I can do. I don't know. I'm going to leave. Can it, it can't be out here, I would assume. Right? I mean... That's what I'm supposed to do, right? I read it correctly. Find the sitting human silhouette using the ectoplasm glass. Yeah. I... I don't know what else to do. Um, That's okay. I mean, we'll see what our, our... We should get some extra money and experience from having them blow out the candle, so that's perfect. Sanity's still at 60%, but it's, I mean, if it drops any further, I'll be at risk of dying. So, uh, I did select myling, right? Yeah, I did. Okay.
uh, I guess we we go. We leave. And we take our money. And hopefully get some good experience. And, uh... Can move on with getting new things. Okay, so we got an extra $100. Only five extra experience, though. Which is kind of a bummer. Um, we're almost level two. We have $1,600, which is good. Maybe we can buy a camera. Yeah. Let's do that. All right. So we'll go ahead and use those for next time, I think. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and end the video there. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I mean, this game is, is crazy. I can't wait to check out the other locations, and it's kind of uh, a bummer that it's taking so long to reach, I guess, level... Even level 2, but, uh, you know, level 3. I can't even... I can't even unlock medium difficulty until level 5, so there's not m a lot of a, a, a chance of me getting extra money um, besides you know, running a lot of these missions and then getting some cash to, to, um, I mean, with what I have now with the photo camera and the candle, assuming I can find whatever that silhouette is uh, with the ectoplasm glass, I, I should be able to unlock the, uh, the exorcism ritual, which I don't, I, it didn't say required any additional items. So I, theoretically, assuming I don't die or whatever, like I should be able to to complete a mission completely. And and that should hopefully give us a bunch of experience and money. So yeah, we'll try that next time. Um, you know, as always, thank you guys for watching and staying tuned through all my videos. I truly appreciate, you know, everybody who who stops by. Um and uh you know I hope it's it's entertaining for you. So uh, I will go ahead and catch you guys in the next video. See you later.